Hey guys, Steve Araujo here with the Bass Hang, and I'm bringing you a new review. And for today, and a sound demo also, but I'm bringing you the Beagle Sound Lab Octave Divider. This little pedal is amazing. I've been messing with it for a little while, and um, it's kind of deep. It has a lot of buttons, a lot of things. I had to get used to it a little bit, but I, I eventually did. And now I really like this pedal a lot, and you'll hear why. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm using a four-string jazz, the Marco Jazz Bass. Uh, going into the octave divider, out of the octave divider into the A Designs KGB little preamp slash DI, and then I'm going straight into Logic Audio via my Apogee Duet. So the sounds that you're going to hear, the playing examples, that's going to be going direct. So um, it's going to sound really, really good and clean. All right, so let's start off. Let me just play the bass by itself so you can get an idea of what it'll sound like. <laughs> something like that. So that's the bass by itself. Um, all right, so let's go left to right of the pedal. So you have your bass control. So that's your sub octave. That's your octave, one octave below the original tone that you're playing. You have its gain knob right here. Raise it, lower it, and unity for me, and what I'm finding is around six. So you'll see the little number there. So at six, that's gonna be about the same volume that you are when you're bypassed or when you're just playing the bass by itself, okay? Right above that, in the blue, you have a tone. So this is basically more bottom end, more high end. So however you wanna tailor that sub-octave tone, that little knob will do it. So we move to the middle knob right here, and that's gonna be for your dry signal. So basically that is going to be your bass signal, your input, okay? And when I say unity gain, what I'm referring to is that it's going to be the same volume when you're bypassed, and it's gonna be the same level, same volume when the effect is on. So to get that, I'm at around, at the six mark right here on that dry level, okay? Um, stabilize, it's either off or on. I find it, leaving, I find that leaving it off gives me the best results. I haven't, that's one that I haven't really messed with because I just set it on off and it seems to work perfect. So I don't know. I'm not, I haven't tweaked with that one too much. Um, like I said, leave it off. You should be good. Experiment with on. But for me, leaving it off works. Um, then you move here to the ringer. So this little ringer, it's like a ring modulator basically. And to me, it sounds like synthesized distortion with a little shimmery high end. It's, it's a very unique sound, but it's very synth oriented, so you can get that sound. Um, and then above that, you have your solo selector. So to the left, you're gonna solo the sub octave by itself. To the right, you're gonna solo the ringer, okay? And that is engaged by the solo button right there. So that tells you whether you're, you know, you can solo the, the sub octave or the ringer. Okay, so those are the controls. Now let's look at these buttons. This one right here is for the effect. So when it's red, it's bypassed. When it's blue, it's on. And I'll play in a second. And then when it's off, when the solo is off, it's red. Then when I press it and it's blue, that's the bass octave soloed. And if I have the solo selector for ringer, it's green. So that's kind of cool, it's color coded. I kind of like that. So you'll definitely know which tone you are soloing. Um, all right, let's go to the inputs. You have a true bypass input, and then you have a buffered input. So I think that's really, really smart because a lot of people have pedal boards where everything is true bypass and they need to put a buffered pedal in, this will do it. Um, or you can go true bypass, and that's what I'm doing. So again, I'm going into the true bypass, and you can see that it has a little white light that lights up when I'm in true bypass, and then also it has the output. Um, so output is going into my preamp, or it'll go into your next pedal in line. Um, so let's do a little playing. <laughs> Now I'm gonna turn the octave on.
as you can hear, I'm pretty much at unity gain, but I can raise my octave level a little bit. So at the low E, it gets a little glitchy, but I'm telling you, it is... It really tracks very well in the lower register, and then... And it tracks really quickly, too. Um, again, so that was with the bass turned up a little bit. The other thing I should say is the ringer. Check this out. This is the ringer off. Now I'm going to turn the ringer a little bit up. Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. Or let's go all the way. I like that. That's that's just a very very cool sound. Even on the upper register. Up there you get that really cool upper harmonic. Alright guys, so as you can see, you have total control of this ringer modulator while you are in the octave mode, okay? Um, so now let's turn the ringer off, and let's turn our dry signal off, and let's just listen to our bass at unity, and I'm going to go through the tone. So this is the tone all the way off, um, and I'll play something low. Alright, so now I'll go to the 12 o'clock position. And then all the way up. That's very subtle, but it does get a little bit more high-end-ish. It does give you a little bit more treble the higher you turn it up. All right, guys, so now we're gonna mess with the solo function, and I'm gonna have it set to ringer, all right? so. Here's a bass line um, with the effect on and not soloed. And then here's solo. All right, so the ringer, when it's soloed, you have no control over it. It basically is just that sound no matter if I turn this up or down. So it gives you one sound, that ringer. Let's solo the bass. It tracks really remarkably well and I really like the sound of it. Although I don't like it soloed so much. It's a cool effect, but I like hearing. I like having that ringer. I like having a little control over it. That's it's pretty cool and it's expressive too. So if I bend So that's a rundown of the Beagle Sound Labs 
octave divider. It's a really great octave divider with a couple of really cool features. This ringer, I didn't think I'd like it. I actually really, really like that effect. It sounds really cool. So um, anyways, I hope you dig it. Go check out the pedal. It tracks really great. I like the sound of it a lot. I like the tone of that octave. Um, I like the way it's laid out. At first, it did confuse me a little bit, but literally just sitting with it for a couple of hours and you'll just get it dialed in. It's really, really great. And it is, after you get it, it is intuitive and you can just kind of tweak with sounds and mess with them and get whatever sound you're looking for. So anyways, I hope you dug that review. Uh, it's very fun. I'll be playing the pedal out and uh, that's it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>